If you've got fast action in a scene, but you need to reveal a bit more detail at specific moments for dramatic effect, using time remapping to perform a speed ramp is a great technique. Transitioning from real time or even faster than real time to slow motion can produce truly dynamic results. In this segment, we take footage shot at 60 and 120 frames per second and show you how to create simple speed ramps in Premiere Pro CS6 using the time remapping tool. Let's get started. Okay, so we're in Premiere Pro CS6, and I basically have two pieces of footage in here. I have this piece of footage, which was originally shot at 60 frames per second, and we've converted it to 23.976 frames per second, which basically means it's gonna play back at a 40% playback speed. Then I have this second clip here that was shot at 120 frames per second, which will play back at 20% of normal speed. But the trick here is going to be fluctuating between uh, real-time speed or maybe even a little bit faster than real-time speed and then slowing it down to that 20 or 40% playback rate for kind of the, um, the effect and then basically ramping back up to that normal speed. Um, so we're going to basically just show you how that works here. If you're not familiar with the concept of shooting a faster frame rate for smooth slow motion playback, you can read a great article called How to Make a Slow Motion Video Clip by clicking on the link. Or if you're a Plus member, you can click on the Get Perfect Slow Motion link in order to watch a full video tutorial. So let's get started. Let's move in this first clip, which was originally shot at 60p. I'm gonna go ahead and right click it, unlink, and just dump the audio there. And so to get into the speed ramp uh, settings, the best way to do it is to click on this triangle right here go to time remapping speed. Now basically what that does is this line here is gonna be how you control um, your time remapping. So if we move forward here, oh, wrong one. All right, let's move forward here. So right around here is where I want the clip to slow down. So what I'm gonna do is basically if you hover over the line and hold control, you're gonna see that little plus symbol there. And if I click, it's gonna add a speed ramp keyframe. So now, at 100% playback, which is what this line is, it's gonna play back in slow motion. So if I play it, that's slow motion, so that's great. But what we want is before that instance, we actually want it to play a little bit faster. And the other thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm just gonna trim it here, right there, and we'll go ahead and ripple delete that. So, Essentially, I want it to play in real time here and then slow down at my keyframe. So I'm gonna expand this a little bit. So if I hover over this, you can see, let's move it over to the blue. You can see there's that little up and down arrow and it's at 100%. If I click and hold and start pushing upward, it's gonna increase the speed of the clip before the keyframe. So I'm gonna to go to 250%, which basically is real time in this case because of the way it was shot. So now if I hit play, real time, goes to slow-mo and it's gonna stay at slow-mo until I tell it to do otherwise. So I'm gonna back up to about right here, hold control, add a new keyframe, and then click and hold, push up to 250% and voila. Okay, so now what we should have is real time, slow-mo when he's on top of the little platform and then going back to real time. So let's check it out. So slow-mo and then back to real time. Okay, so it's not perfect yet. Uh, maybe the timing's a little bit off, but the other thing we wanna do is make those speed ramps a little more gradual. So they've actually made this really easy to do. And the other thing I want you to notice is as I raise and lower these, it actually adjusts the clip length for you. This is really great. Um, if you've ever used time remapping um, in other programs, a lot of times it won't do that for you. So this just makes it really intuitive to where you're just playing with the effect. You're not really worried about clip lengths and things like that. And if you have clips next to this, it'll actually push it over for you. So it's a really great way of doing it. Um, but let's talk about making that speed change a little more gradual. So I'm gonna zoom in here again. You'll notice that when they set these keyframes, they have these little grabbers right here. Now, if I grab one of those and pull it out, essentially what is that? what that's doing is now making that change from 100% right here to 250% here 
over this length. So if I want it to ramp a little bit slower, I can drag this out. If I want the change to happen a little bit faster, I can pull it in. So let's just see what that looks like. So you can see that change is much more gradual. I'm going to play it again. So it just sort of gradually does that. And the other thing you can do is if you click right here on the bar, you'll also notice that it's going to give me these handles so that I can sort of make it more of a curve so that it gradually sort of speeds up and does it that way. So that's kind of a nice effect. So that's pretty good right there. Now let's go to that first one. And I'll zoom out and zoom in using the plus and minus key. And again, we're going to sort of stretch that out to where that ramp up to or ramp down to slow mo is a little bit more gradual. So we've got real time. There you go. And back to real speed. The other thing that I think is, um, you know, we we were here shooting this stuff and um, this particular shot feels pretty good, but we can even try rather than going with real time, let's just push it to 300% because, you know, the camera strips away a little bit of energy um, of what it actually felt like in real life. So let's try that real quick and see if that makes a difference. Boom, just adds a slight bit of excitement to that beginning because, you know, when you're there in real life, it's really cool. And sometimes the uh, footage strips away a little bit. So I'm going to go and push that first one up to 300%. And now pushing something a little faster than normal speed is pretty much a fairly safe option. You know, slowing something down that wasn't shot uh, for slow-mo can be a little bit dicey, especially in Premiere. Um, but in this case, I think we should be safe. So let's check it out. And also speeding up the front and backside a little bit more also makes that slow motion feel a little bit more intense. So I do kind of like that. Okay, so now let's move on to our 120 frame per second shot here, just to give you an idea what that looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight it, right click, unlink, select the audio, delete. And so in slow motion at 100%, because we've already converted this to 24 frames per second, this is what it looks like, okay? really cool to be able to see sort of, you know, how the feet move, how the board moves, um, all those kinds of things. But, you know, to watch this whole thing in slow motion, it's a little overkill. So what we want to do is basically, you know, put some real time uh, speed in there and then slow it down just for the tricks. So let's go ahead and do that and maybe around right there. And again, we're going to click on the triangle, go to time remapping, speed, hold control to add a point. And now this time, rather than 250%, we actually need to go all the way up to 500% to get real time playback. And I'm even going to push it a little bit more. I'm going to push it to 600 to go a little bit more than real time. So let's just see what that looks like. All right, looking good. I'm going to go ahead and just delete this first guy to get it out of our way and right click ripple delete. Okay, so we've got our keyframe set right there to slow down. And then again, we can sort of stretch out our ramp. And then basically we can add another keyframe by holding control, push that back up to, oh, I missed it. Let's see, holding control, click, there we go. And then push that back up to 600. Okay, and then we'll stretch out the process there. So let's see what that looks like. So it slows down for the trick and then it speeds up for the real time. And then let's go back right there. Control, slow it back down to 100. And of course, you know, the slow motion is a lot more dramatic because we shot at 120 frames per second, which looks really cool. All right, so let's do that and split that out. And then maybe around right there. Hold control, move forward a little bit, stretch it out, move it back up to 500, 600 actually. Okay, that's probably enough for demonstration purposes, but let's just check it out and see what it looks like from the beginning. So let's start at the beginning, here we go. So you can see, rather than showing it all in slow motion, of course, if you leave it at 600 for the trick, 
it looks a little awkward, right? So, you know, at the very least, we'd probably have to slow that back down. In fact, let's just do it right now. Let's, for the trick, let's just slow it back down to regular old 500. Um, that way, at least we're not, uh, you know, in hyperdrive there. So let's see what that looks like. There we go, that looks more natural. So, you know, you can finish it off with maybe one real-time trick. Whatever you wanna do, you know, this is just some sample footage, but I mean, the slow motion certainly looks cool. Um, and, you know, being able to ramp between the fast speeds and slow speeds makes it to where you can highlight those real fine details of the tricks, but, you know, keep the time in between minimized. So one final thing that I wanted to make sure that I covered is, uh, any one of these handles, if you want to adjust the point where your ramp begins and ends, you can actually just click right in the middle here and drag it left to right, and that will basically adjust your start and finish points for your ramp. So uh, just a very easy way to you know adjust things around. It's just really straightforward, and it actually makes the time and speed remapping a lot of fun uh, when you're doing it. There you have it. That's just a real simple way of doing speed ramp in Premiere. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I'm Greg Olson with Video Maker, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>